So I'm not sure how familiar are you with um, Riverwalk, but just to give you an, a sense, this is kind of like the backside as you come down Parkside to the house. This is the creek. And then this is the walking path that runs behind these homes. And so I think it ends up being, you could do a full 5K in here. It's really cool. And of course, beautiful homes, lush landscaping, mature trees. So I'm heading to the house now. Okay, I'm here at the property, 344 Parkside. It is at the very end of Parkside. There's one more house in the corner ahead of it. So it intersects with um, Riverwalk Drive and Parkside. So you are on the right-hand side, as you know, backing up to the walking path. The It's pretty indicative of this neighborhood because of the age of the homes and kind of is a little bit narrower on Parkside than it is some of the other streets because of the walking path. So you don't have a huge turnabout in the um, driveway, but I think it's enough. It is a two car garage, a little bit of an extra parking pad here for vehicles. Um, you can kind of see where my car is in relationship. And that's the house next to it. House across the street, house on the corner. I sold that one about, gosh, seven or eight years ago, I think. Okay, I'm heading inside. I'm inside now. Um, these are real hardwood floors, oak, red oak hardwood floors. Um, not a pre-finished or LVP or anything like that. Um, you've got a sort of a front office or living room, study. There is a um, French door, um, sliding French door a kind of partition between here and the formal dining room that I'll show you here in a second. There you go. And the foyer is a really good size. It is a two-story foyer here, which is very pretty. And then formal dining room here, also a good size. I mean, some of the color choices are gonna be probably indicative of more of the 90s look. I believe the people that own this house have been here quite some time. Heading into the kitchen now. All right here we are in the kitchen. Very pretty cabinetry. Kind of a, a rich stained look here. Granite countertops. So I think you could do obviously a breakfast table here if you wanted to. And then you do have the sunroom off the back. A little bit of a threshold here. that leads out to the deck. I'll look back into the kitchen and I'm gonna open some drawers and look at some things here in just a second. Lots of little fun cubbies. This is one over here in the corner. And lots of storage for spices and serving items. Another little nook here for the family bar. And then a pantry here. Nice and tidy. And then this flows back around to the foyer. And this is gonna be access to the lower level. We'll go there here in a little while. And then this is the access to the garage. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Powder room here in the front off the foyer. And I believe this is probably going to be like a coat closet here as well. And we'll slide back through the kitchen and over to the den or the family room here. So again, it's kind of, um, I wouldn't consider it, you know, an open floor plan. Again, just kind of given its age, it's not closed off, but all the rooms are kind of segmented from one another. Nothing's overly large. 
but very comfortable setting. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs. One of the things I will point out downstairs that I didn't mention when I opened the door to the garage is the, I would say the position of the garage there at the front. I mean, it's not terribly far away from the kitchen, but where it is a li is a little bit odd, I would say, um, versus kind of dumping right into the kitchen um, as most garages do. Okay, now we're in the upstairs owner's bedroom. It does have its own fireplace, sitting area. The carpet, you can definitely tell it's a good carpet, but it's been here a while. And then you've got one walk-in closet here. It's kind of segmented his and hers. And then the bathroom has definitely been updated with a soaking tub. You can kind of look back here and see the, the walking path. And then the bathroom, very pretty. Right here's the shower, huge shower. So it's probably once had like a tub, you know, kind of your standard jetta tub in the corner and then the shower. So they really open this up nicely. And then they've got a linen closet there and then water closet there. That's big, that's nice. All right, we're gonna head to the secondary bedrooms now. So off of the owner's bedroom, which is pretty typical to have it this way, the laundry room is upstairs, not downstairs. It typically follows where the owner's bedroom is. Little um, ironing board pull out, some upper cabinets, attic access there, ceramic tile, carpet through here. I'm loving all the clocks going off. There's a bunch of them. Huge hall bath. You know, definitely, Dated with the wallpaper, but this could certainly be painted and very much transformed. Um, original cabinets, they've changed hardware, fixtures, same mirror, and so forth. Um, the toilet's there, and then the original um, tub shower there with some new plumbing fixtures and a linen closet. We'll head down the hallway now. All right, so back here you have a bedroom here with a closet. Again, really good sized in terms of the depth. Then back here, another bedroom. Again, a great size bedroom and similar closets. I tell you, the storage so far has been good, kind of deceiving when you first look at them, but they're not, you know, tr I, mean, I can walk all the way in here, um, which is a little bit deceiving when you first look at them. So you got two bedrooms on this side, a very large hall bathroom, the laundry room, and the owner's bedroom. All right, heading down to the lower level. This carpet definitely looks newer. I think it was been replaced at some point. You've got about um, 10 steps there, an additional three here to get to the lower level. You do have a drop ceiling. To the left, there is a um, bedroom. Yeah, you can consider it a bedroom. You've got a window and a closet and a door to get in. So this would be ideal for your family situation. That tab may be hard to get in and out of, but that could be redone. And then we go into here. It's a large rec area. I'm not overly large, but nice enough. A little wet bar here. And some storage under the stairs. And then you've got another room here. This one cannot be considered a bedroom because there's no closet. It does have access out, but this could just be a little, you know, storage area, um, maybe a den off of this sitting area or, or bonus room, just depends. And then this is all 
storage here. Now this doesn't look great. I don't remember anything on the disclosure about any type of past water intrusion, but there's a, definitely a lot of effervescence going on here. Um, tankless water heater looks good. This is, you know, not a poured in place concrete um, basement. It is concrete block, which is not always the greatest, but it, um, hard to say. Right, we're gonna walk outside. Okay, so as far as the back, it's not fenced. It's definitely, you know, open here. It does sort of um, come down, a little bit of a slope here, and then levels back out, back to the path. There's the stairs up to the deck and that sunroom, which may have used to be a screen porch, not sure. And then you've got a patio down here at the lower level. Neighbors have a pool. So it's very peaceful back here.